HTML first apps and static sites are cool again. For the past 10 years, all you've heard about was single page applications. The hype was real and building powerful interactive web applications became all of a sudden possible. However, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So soon enough, more and more code was moved on the front end and performance metrics started to decline rapidly. We came up with server side rendering and hydration strategies to improve SEO and metrics such as time to interactive, but all these options really felt like an afterthought. Recently, however, there is a shift back towards multi-page applications and some frameworks are becoming way more aware of the data they are sending over to the browser. Concepts such as the island's architecture or lazy loading of JavaScript on the page only when needed are becoming the new norm and we'll talk about all the benefits in just a second. I've looked closely into this new generation of frameworks and you can find links in the video description for overviews on Fresh.js and Astro.js for instance. However, now I want to look more closely into the benefits this new framework called Quick has to offer. So, first of all, the thing that everybody is excited about. Performance. Quick is, like the name says, well, quick. How does it manage to do it? Well, it builds on top of ideas such as the island architecture where behavior is fully decoupled from the content. In short, what this means is that even if you are writing TypeScript code and building your app based on components, the final result will be plain HTML sent to the browser with a couple of smart innovations to sprinkle behavior on top of it. When the client makes a request, the response will contain that quick to render HTML, which will lead to an optimal meaningful paint time. On top of that HTML, the framework will also send to the client the quick loader. This is a small one kilobyte minified JavaScript file, which takes around 5 milliseconds to execute. Once the script is executed, it employs various strategies like a general event handler or intersection observers listeners to figure out when and what JavaScript code to load in a lazy manner. This approach relies on another innovative concept called quick URLs. Of course, you can only lazy load bits of code if those are isolated and easily downloadable. At compile time, all your code is split into chunks by a component called optimizer. You'll see a lot of dollar signs in your quick code, which are basically marking the code that is lazy loadable. Then, those chunks are linked together using URLs, which can be understood and called accordingly by the quick loader. Even though the process is simple, the amount of work done by the framework behind the scenes is pretty impressive. In the documentation, you can check out a simple example, where you'll see that even a four-line component component ends up being split in three different file chunks. The selling point of Quick is exactly this type of work that it's doing for the developer. As opposed to the usual hydration strategy, the approach removes unnecessary work from the browser and leads to incredible time to interactive metrics. The second thing that I really like about Quick is that it is pragmatic. On one hand, its development is being spearheaded by the creator of AngularJS, so you know that the team behind it knows what they are doing. Having the opportunity to draw conclusions from previous experiences and possible mistakes, and then coming up with a new library which addresses some of the major pitfalls the current ecosystem has, can only lead to great results. With its functional components and JSX usage, Quick follows the React structure. I think that this detail alone speaks volumes about the approach the Quick team takes here. Even though they have a strong background in Angular, they traded that off for the simplicity and the popularity of the React library. On the other hand, nowadays a lot of computing is moving to the edge and end users are expecting better and better performance on any type of internet connection and on any type of device. As a developer, my pragmatic interest will be to use the solution which does most of the work for me, not only when it comes to UI and UX, but also regarding performance and efficiency. The final thing that really gets me excited about this framework is Quick City. In the realm of JavaScript, meta frameworks are becoming the norm. It's not enough to have a good performance library anymore and things such as server side rendering, smart routing, templating and hydration are only a few of the additional features tools such as Next.js offers on top of the React library or Svelte Kit offers on top of Svelte. So Quick City follows the same approach and enables all that. It comes with a powerful file system routing and handling of API endpoints of the popular request verbs. Furthermore, it provides things such as server side generation solution, custom layouts and more. As a final note, there are things I wish Quick will improve in future iterations. One of the main complaints I see around is that writing Quick is a bit too boilerplate mostly because of how tightly coupled the QRLs are to the code at times. Based on the initial impression and the excitement level in the community, I expect Quick to only grow moving forward, so updates and cleanup to various flows can be expected. So these are the three main things which really got me excited about Quick. Let me know if you agree or not with my assessment, and please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.